here I am on Mass 495. I'm on my way home from the Ford dealership. Two weeks ago, I bought an F350 Power Stroke diesel. Um, I love the truck, inside and out, but I've been having issues with it ever since I bought it. Um, it's a 2014, so it has urea added into the exhaust, DEF, diesel exhaust fluid. Um, along with that system comes a lot of things that can go wrong. I think there's like 10 sensors or something like that. I'm not a mechanic, so I could be wrong there. But long story short, or long story long, I had it for about five days when the message came up that in 50 miles my speed would be limited to 50 miles per hour. So I hadn't had the truck for very long, so I called the dealership where I bought it. I bought this truck used, by the way, with about 50,000 miles on it. Um, they took it back and they said they would make everything right and fix it. Um, I think they replaced an EGR cooler. Um, they did a reflash to it and, and you know a few other things. Um, I think pretty much what it came down to is they reprogrammed it and got rid of the code and got it back to normal but didn't fix the problem. So I took it back and <clears throat> I was driving it to get all the sensors back online. In Massachusetts, you, you have to do uh, emissions for inspections, you have to pass emissions. So, if all the sensors aren't online, you won't pass and you'll get a reject sticker. If you're allowed up to one sensor, I think, to not be ready, you have to drive so many miles, or, you know, a drive cycle for that particular vehicle to get all the sensors online. So anyway, while I was driving, another message popped up. Exciting. This one said that Upon restart, my vehicle will be limited to 50 miles an hour. No countdown, no warning, that's it. So, I called the dealer, said take it in. Mind you, this dealer is an hour and a half, two hours away. I don't like going there once a week so I can drive for a few days, but I bought the truck there. They're good people, they've been helpful so far, even though they haven't fixed the problem yet. So if I'm going to make the drive out there. So. I'm on my way there this morning, and I get another message. This time, it says, Diesel Exhaust Fluid System Fault Engine Will Idle Soon. What that means is that it's not going to even let me drive any miles an hour. It's going to just run, so that way I think it's, you know, if someone's in a cold environment or whatever, they won't freeze. But um, it'll let the engine run so you can get heat and stuff. No countdown, no telling me how long I can drive, <clears throat> how far I can drive. It just tells me it's going to go into idle mode soon. soon. So I'd like to be able to look up how long I have this and that, but I'm on the highway and I don't want to start Googling while I'm driving on the highway. So I call the dealer, ask him if he can ask the mechanic what's going on, if, if I should stop and get it towed, or if I should keep going. Mind you, I'm limited. I'm in the slow lane driving 50 miles an hour. It's the fastest the truck will let me go. I got old ladies flying past me, giving me dirty looks. Awesome. So dealer talks to the diesel mechanic, calls me right back, says, keep going, keep going. I had about 35 miles left of the trip at that point. Trust me, I was nervous. I mean, you get the breakdown lane, but of course there's parts of the highway where the breakdown lane just isn't there, and the last thing you want to do is be broken down in the middle of the highway with tractor trailers riding up your butt. So I got the truck to the dealer, left it running so that they could get it into the shop, um, because if I shut it off, I think it would just be uh, stuck in idle mode. So. We'll see what happens. I've, I've done a lot of reading on the forums and stuff, and 
I guess this is a common issue with the 6.7 liter Ford Power Stroke ever since the government forced all these emissions controls and stuff. They've, you know, I guess they're having trouble getting these systems to work properly. I know this has been Ford's, Ford's had this, this engine since 2011. This, this truck's a 2014, so I was hoping that they would have most of these kinks worked out, but I'm one of the unlucky people that seems to be having issues here. Um, I'll make another video to update what ends up happening, what they replace, and, and see if they get the problem solved, but as of now, I'm in a little black uh, Ford Focus hatchback um, while my truck's in the shop. All right.